Chiha. I hope that this ends with a light at the end of this long dark tunnel through uh, through enough resistance. It will. I'm actually positive as to what's happening in the world. I know there's a lot of people dying. I know there's a lot of people being sacrificed. But this is the growing pains of life, right? The growing pains of the world. The veil is being lifted, right? All the BS that has been fed into Western societies through corporate propaganda for the last 50, 60, 50 60 years is now showing itself for what it really was right what it really was i mean how many people knew about in 1954 muhammad Mossadegh that the united states the cia overthrew a democratically elected government in iran installed a shah dictator that really built up to the point of the iranian revolution in 1978 which has again culminated right snowballed into a level where iran is one of the most powerful countries on this global map literally iran is more powerful now than pre-revolution iran is one of the most powerful countries in the world not because it arms other nations and stuff like that as Iranians have said, they don't have proxies like the United States has. Iran has allies, right? And Iran has built allies over the last few decades through hard work, through diplomacy, through standing on the right side of history in, in many regards, right? Iran is the reason ISIS, with the help of Russia, and Syria the reason that Isis did not grow to be a full-on like cancer in the Middle East that would be that could be used as a proxy on the whole globe right Iran as I have they've stated they have allies they don't have proxies who are their allies let's take a look Russia China, India in large part, right? Yemen, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon. Who else? Who else? Let's see. Let's see. Who else is Iran's ally? Is that enough to have allies? Well, man, if I was a person and I had russia china houthis uh, syria iraq hezbollah as allies man i i'd say i've done pretty well considering the pressure i've been under right 